Van life breakups are rampant on YouTube, and with the stress of artist life and the desert heat baking us in our tiny van, we're left wondering, is our relationship doomed? Joel? Oh, what does Joel do? As soon as I start cleaning, he disappears. There's so much other van, but you have to put it on my pillow. For the last two weeks, I've been stuck alone in the Albertan desert known as the Badlands while I rehearse a play. It is my last morning without my baby. I'm just about ready to head off for rehearsals for the day. And when I get back on my supper break, Becca will be home. Well, nearly two weeks away and I am back. Always happy to get back and realize, oh my gosh, I have a lot of chores to do because there's no water in the van and the dishes aren't done. I know Joel's been busy. It's just sometimes it feels like van chores are never ending. We just broke for supper and I found out that my wife arrived five minutes ago and then very kind-heartedly, I'm very thankful, I'm very thankful, she took Popple out to get chores done. Okay, it's another town, another water dump. I'm very grateful for all that Joel does and I know that he's had a really busy week. It's just, I'm really tired and this is like, the last thing I wanted to do when I get back, but that's okay. <sighs> I've been busy rehearsing, <laughs> but that means I have no van and no food for supper break. So... Yeah. Whole entire thing. Swimmingly full of dishes. The worst one, this. Joel's green smoothie container that I hate worse than death. It's like salad, blend it all, but with bananas. The only thing that is giving me strength to continue doing this today is the fact that I listened to Andrew Tate for the first time today, and let me tell you this. I'm pretty sure there isn't one person on this earth I hate more for their ignorance than Andrew Tate. And I think it's pretty safe to say I am incredibly irritated, and it's all because I have to clean this disgusting thing. Oh, it's so gross. It's stained green. I have literally fed calves and watched as the foamy, milky breath of theirs stream down their face and would prefer to lick that than to have to clean this thing. And if you think I'm over dramatic, well, what can I say? You probably drink your salads. My wife is the most amazing person ever. She went in the van away to do van chores, but she didn't know when my supper break was, so here I am, just chilling, waiting for her to come down the road. It never hurts to have a little chill on the deck, so they say. Isolated Joel there, and I didn't realize it because his break was at six. I'm a delightful wife, and when he finally sees me and I look like this, he's going to think I am the cherub's kiss. And that was pure self-present in case you didn't get that. Hope she comes back soon, because I am getting a little hungry. Andrew Tate. Ugh. I can't mix and hold the camera so you to look. So, she has not been answering her phone, which probably just means she's driving. Uh oh, now a delightful muddy mess, but at least water is full. I need to just go back and be a sweet, smiley wife, Joel, because I haven't seen him in a couple days, and say hi. Okay, I'm thinking we need some much needed context for why I'm so upset. While Joel sweats it in the Badlands, I'm away in Calgary working on a workshop. It's off to work again. It's going great. I'm arting it up with friends, learning about not only toxic masculinity and societal impact on gender, but also Andrew Tate. <clears throat> Can't even. Anywho, it's all going swimmingly until tragedy strikes. So yesterday was supposed to be our performance in front of, you know, an audience for the first time. And uh, right as we got started, because it was new material, we actually hadn't worked with that canvas and with the paint on the canvas, our performance took it a little too fast. And Colt ended up slipping and hitting his head. We called it there, took him in to the hospital. I feel very much like what happened was 100% my responsibility. And so today we're gonna go in, 
uh, have a postmortem, clean up, and also maybe check in and, and see if anybody has any news about how Cole is doing. I feel really heavy. Yeah. Just the update. It's gonna be okay. See where our friend Cole takes us. Hello, my friends. I just wanted, I'm really sad to not um, be there with y'all this morning uh, to say thank you in person. Just for being so caring and loving uh, and patient. And, and lastly, is just to 100% say that I, I, I just really hope no one feels uh, or no one's taking any like personal guilt or blame at all. All right, workshop is completely over now. Bye. 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 Get better soon, Cole. In desperate need to recuperate from the heaviness of the past two days, I come home to the van in desperate need of chores. My favorite. Yay, so as you can imagine, it's coming. It takes all my willpower just to put a smile on my face for my babe. Hey, beautiful. Looking for a ride, handsome? Yes, please. You got room in there? Hey, babe. It's good to have you home. You look pretty frazzled. I know. That was his reaction. If I am covered with dirt, don't you dare mention it. Oh, stop. Stop. Baby. I'm not used to sit here with you. Babe, honestly. <laughs> Just give it over. You have to get used to it, because I've been looking forward to the bedding. Do you miss me? Um, yeah, I miss you, but you're not getting away with this. Okay, I'm gonna make me a smoothie. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, don't even going for the avocados. For your abominable smoothies, no. Uh, uh, I have, no, they are not ripe. Only one is ripe, and I have been waiting all week for it. You know what, today has not been a very good day at all. <laughs> it's already 27 degrees in here, so it is hot! Van's a mess, and Joel? Oh, what does Joel do? As soon as I start cleaning, he disappears. It's like, you know what, half this mess is your mess. Honestly, ever since just coming out to Drumheller and the Badlands, I've just been in such a bad mood, and so frustrated and angry at absolutely everything. Stuck in the Badlands. It feels despicable. So Becca's been in a bit of mood lately and I have a plan to help fix things. We are not dealing well with a drum heller summer. So I'm here with my pal Brayden. Yup, yup. We are solving the oven of death van life summer and drum heller problem. Hopefully we can make this little AC unit work. Gotta figure out a way to bounce it up in summer. That would be the goal. Have you been toasting real good in there? Oh my gosh. Hey. Installing R A C. Da, 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 da. I cannot wait. I hope it works. Where are you gonna put it? That is the big question. If you didn't know, I'm a Red Seal carpenter. So if I can't figure out how to mount this AC unit, no one can. I just destroyed it. Why did you just destroy it? I didn't mean to. I punctured the Rion. Well, that's as bad as it gets. There goes our air conditioning unit. I'm sorry. I just, mm, yeah, okay. Oh well. Move on. You can't do anything about it. If you broke it, you broke it. That goes our AC for the summer. You'll survive without it. Anything. A very wise person once said, pride cometh before a fall, but he never said just how much it would hurt. <laughs> what? Why? Why do you have to drop your dirty socks and underwear on my pillow? There's so much other van, but you have to put it on my pillow. Even when he's feeling down, man's gotta pick himself up again 
as the artist hustle never ends, and it's time to record an audition. Do you think that'll work as the background right here? And uh, is that gonna work? I don't know. I think we have to like move it so the car is like. Move the van a bit closer. Right here. Right the car. Okie dokie. Sometimes the best mirror is just the one outside. It's the only mirror that really works. What do you say? Um, I wasn't paying attention. Any on my way, we're down in flames again, then you can say must be hard. You happy? It'll be fine. Okay, I'm gonna do mine, so okay. hold off. <laughs> It's called doing a slate for a self tape. Name, height, agent, age. Name, age, height, agent. Okay. Hello, I'm Joel Braun. Mm. Hi there, I'm Joel Braun, and I am. What are the questions? Uh, height, age, agent. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what I'm saying. Um, favorite experience. Favorite experience in Calgary. So do you think it's gonna work to just oh set up the camera there and have us in the back? I can't get this off. <laughs> What's that? Oh! <laughs> My sticky. Sticky So we're supposed to be in the back of a taxi. <laughs> do you think we could just stick the camera up front? Yeah, and... I think so. I think it's gonna work really nicely. Okay, what's our plan? <sighs> Ovi, we could be French. Uh, what do you say about that? <laughs> That's a terrible French accent. <laughs> Okay, what, what, what's, what's the plan? We've just turned on to 9th Ave. So we're looking at the window. Oh my gosh, there's the Calgary Tower. Great. Okay, do you want to just try that again? Okay, let's do that one more time. We're gonna have a great date. <laughs> Audition complete. You taking care of yourself? Like, if you need a cold shower, you're gonna go do that? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I got my audition done. Thanks, Lord. I have like five minutes to spare and I'm jumping in the shower to cool my body. So I was just vlogging in the bathroom and then someone came in and I got really embarrassed and stopped. So that's why I just got cut off earlier. I cooled myself down with an ice shower. Being an artist is so hard. Like this week, it's like rejection upon rejection, dismissal upon dismissal. Sometimes it just feels like I am fighting upstream continuously. Like that is just my life. And if I could live a nine to five and be happy in that, if I could just be happy, like working at McDonald's or something like that, like some place that has stability, income i can live stably we can live a little suburban life all the stuff that generally my brain checks instead i have to be a creative and creative sucks because you put you like open your heart rip it out put it on the stage put it out there for people to see and they just reject you if i could choose to be anything else sometimes i would Becca is still feeling down but i think i know what can fix it this time yeah i need your help if you enjoy our content and want us to keep making more, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does mean the world to us. So I figured as a nice recuperation, we'd go out on a little date. Ooh. Should I trust your navigation skills? I think you're just gonna have to trust me. We're trying to find a spot we went on a date on six years ago and we, so far we struck out. Yeah, we're not doing too merrily yet. Do you think it's this one here? It wasn't the one on my map, but I think let's go for it because it's a viewpoint. We've both been working non-stop, turning our van into the central hub of a grueling artist grind. Since no marriage thrives on cruise control, we need an adventure intervention. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around, don't I? Now this is why we do and I know sometimes I'm down, but I always make you smile. Don't I? We're like the waves on a big blue storm, you see. But still, you're the one who brings out the best of me.
wonderful, relaxing morning. So nice to get out at the Passion Play site and enjoy a beautiful view of the Drumheller Valley and the Red Deer River. It's like a bougie van. Ooh, there's a nice van. Sorry, Popple. I might just be a little bit of a van hoe now. I'm just saying, because I look outside and I see gorgeous vans and my heart goes, oh, honey, let me see inside you. Like the, the strength I have to have to resist the impulse to go and look in other people's vans and cheat on Popple is so huge. Not because I think they're gonna be better Popple than you, but simply because curiosity is a pleasure cat of mine. I mean, look at that awning and it looks like they have like AC even, like there's a big AC unit on top. Okay, so we totally got to see inside their van and let me tell you, it is pimped out. It is gorgeous. Don't worry, Papa, we ain't cheating on you yet. They do have AC though. That is an AC unit. Well, well we got AC in the front here <laughs> while we drive. Well, it was a wonderful rejuvenating little overnight trip overlooking the beautiful Red Deer Valley, but now we are on our way back to the Passion Play site. Hey, what do you want for lunch? A smoothie? <laughs> no! I'm gonna make myself some guacamole with that last avocado. Hey, what happened to the avocado? I have to dance with this balanced on my head. Literally thousands of people are gonna be out there watching me perform. I can get this by tomorrow. It's gonna feel like I'm the one being crucified on stage. <laughs>